Hey there, Gemini. Welcome. This is your, going to be for your second half of July 2022 love reading. Let's see what's happening for you guys. What is going on for Gemini? We have, ooh, Queen of Wands. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This be your energy. Coming in very passionate on fire. Or it could be that you're dealing with Queen of Wands here. Let's see. We're getting a charm. But we have the unicorn, one of a kind, magical, out of this world, totally different. What dreams are made of. <laughs> okay, now crossing you, we have, ooh, the page of cuffs, a message of love is coming in. All right. So you might have a fire sign. It could be any sign, but someone with a lot of passion that's confident, magnetic, or they see you this way, coming in with a message of love. And then with the page of cups is Scorpio Cancer Pisces and we have you might have been waiting on this person hanging on or they've been waiting for something here or someone's just been hanging in there okay but the hanger and then we have here three of pentacles okay so this is going to be working together you might work with this person or they might want to work together with you in this union collaboration working together okay in the recent past we had a painful ending the ten of swords i mean we we can go farther i feel sort of, when i said that i felt someone saying no there's some of them are farther back okay so either recent past and maybe some go farther that there was a breakup a split up here and but we do have three of cups uh, celebration and community here so this is a get together someone wants to get together with you have a celebration and then we have here four of pentacles coming in is a scarcity mindset he says here so it's like feeling lack not enough maybe you feel like you're not enough for someone or, or maybe they're coming up they might be feel like they're not enough they don't have enough to offer you we'll clarify these and then we have the page of wands okay excitement and curiosity so you should be getting a message from this person here and um so this would be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This could be in the form of a phone call, a email, a text, or even a letter. But someone wants to talk to you. Let's get a charm on that one. And we have here a lion. It might be a Leo. Someone's trying to get the strength, maybe, to come in to talk to you. Okay. And... Ten of Cups, you are their wish fulfillment. You make them very happy here. Contentment and joy. That's how they see you. They see you as everything they ever wanted. It's the Nine of Cups plus the Ace of Cups. It's a lot of happiness here. Okay. And then we have the Page of Swords. You're in their thoughts. Got a lot of pages here. Are they younger than you or is just the way they act? Let's see. We have here. What is this? Oh, a seashell. Okay, so this is one of those conch shells where you can listen to the sea. Maybe they think of you at the sea. Thoughts of you because we have page of swords. Maybe they go to the ocean or someplace to think about you, to reminisce about you. They have a lot of thoughts about you. Okay. And we have here Wheel of Fortune, Destined Option. They feel like you are the one. You're destined to be get together. They really have a lot of feelings for you, a lot of love. And also, it feels like your luck is changing. There's destined opportunities coming in for you. And we have the High Priestess, Hidden Knowledge. Yes. Okay. Your intuition is very strong. Things might be shifting and changing for you at this time. But this is saying you, you have very strong intuition. And um, you might even be connecting with this person in the, um, the fifth dimension here. And the... High Priestess is Virgo Cancer Energy. Okay, let's get another one here. And then with Nine of Cups, Satisfaction, Wish Fulfillment. How nice. What a beautiful reading. Your wishes and dreams are coming true here. Whatever you're wishing for, wish big. We also have the Ace of Pentacles, Wise Investment. There's either a new opportunity and work coming for you, a new job, or a bunch of money coming in. There might be, you know, a windfall coming in. But there's, there's something happening here. With the Ace of Pentacles, it's saying it's a wise investment. So you might invest wisely, and now you're getting your return from it. But there's something coming in, opportunity, or something coming in for you guys. Okay, now, let's start clarifying. Why do we have this Queen of Wands? 
very attractive person here. Let's see, why is that here? Why is the Queen of Wands here for Gemini? My feathers are moving. <laughs> Everything's moving on me. Okay, let's see. Inner child. Hmm, that's interesting. Why would an inner child come out here? There's something, there might be some kind of work to be done here. But it's weird because we got the unicorn, the inner child. It almost feels like you bring out this inner child and this person. It's like you make them really happy. You make them, you make them forget about their troubles. Okay, what about this page of cups? Why do we have this page of cups here? Unawakened. Okay, so this person is coming as unawakened. Well, I feel like you are very, um, you're very spiritual, but this person isn't. And maybe that's why they go to the ocean. Look at this ocean here. They're looking for you. They're trying to figure things out. I think they don't understand you. And they know that you have like knowledge they don't have because we have that hidden knowledge and they're aware of that and they're trying to figure out oh, this person's so confused they're trying to figure you out they're what how does gemini do that how do they know what they know and you i think your intuition is very strong and it really they're very perplexed they're very puzzled by you with this unawakened card but they're coming in they might even be coming in with apology. Okay, what about this Three of Pentacles? I think they want you to wake them up. <laughs> what was this Three of Pentacles? We have here Muse. Ah, see, you inspire them. They see you as their muse. There's something special about you. You, you bring out that unicorn in them. You bring out that magical um, that they can't get with anybody else. It's, everything feels humdrum. It feels like no one feels that magical spark that they feel with you. You just make them feel alive. And you are their muse. You inspire them. What about this Ten of Swords? What's the scoop on this Ten of Swords? Destruction. See, this is tower. This is the end. This was not expected or this is sudden, but this totally fell apart for whatever reason. Your connection broke down. It was not working. I, you know, I'm thinking that there wasn't the collaboration because now this person wants to put in the collaboration. They want to work with you. You know, the three of pentacles. I think they didn't contribute. They were just, they took you for, uh, took advantage of you. They took you for granted. And now they're seeing it. They didn't see it before. They just saying, okay. And they went with the flow. I almost feel like someone's just going la da 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 and not really seeing anything. They're like, um, stuck in their own world. And realizing now, I effed up. <laughs> okay, what about the Three of Cups? Pride and Ego. Oh, yeah. Someone really does. They stayed in their pride. And now they want to come together with you, though. That's how I feel. This person was like in their own world and they really weren't, it wasn't really aware of what was really going on. It feels like they're oblivious to stuff and they're all into themselves. Now, of course, this isn't going to be for everyone and take what resonates, leave what doesn't. <laughs> because especially cross watchers, they'll be getting mad and that's it. You know, I'm done, you know, but it might not be for you. So don't get mad at the reading and make it yours when if it's not if you're not like that then this part of the reading is not for you okay what about the four of pentacles the income and um, scarcity mindset why do we have that here crossroads okay so someone needs to make a decision here with the crossroads this could be with the crossroads it could be a choice in love um, it could be like there's two options here and which way are you going to go they're also going to say this is time to separate because it's not working in whatever situation is. It's, it's, it's a love decision here. It's, which way do you go? You, this person is feeling either they don't have enough, maybe they'll go on and they won't even try to um, do something about this connection. But I don't know. I think there's a good chance here. Or it's just 
you know, someone has to get out of that scarcity mindset because what you think about, you bring about. Okay, now, what about this page of wands? Why do we have this page of wands here? Separation. Wow, yeah, see, this person wants to talk to you about the separation. There, you again. The muse. It seems like you. They're they're heartbroken. They they want you in their life. They you inspire them, and so they want to come and talk to you about this. This separation is really on their mind. It's not. It's heartbroken. Okay. Now, what about the ten of cups? So expect communication from this person. This person has no choice but to come to you. Let's see. We have here. Admire. See. The Ten of Cups, contentment and joy. They admire you. When they think about you, they admire you. They admire how what you accomplish, how you are, how light you are. You might even be a dancer. How you have transformed your own life. They admire how you're able to take control. And almost, you make things feel so easy. And they, they struggle with things. But you make things seem so much easier. But I think you got it, though. You you have this um hidden knowledge. You have this very intuitive way of doing things. And if you're connected to spirit... And you're into your intuition. You trust. That's the whole thing. You trust what the universe is bringing you. Okay, what about the Page of Swords? Big dreams. Wow. I would say this is sort of like the, the Ten of Cups again. This is on um, Page of Swords. It's, this person has big dreams for you. They think about you a lot. The ocean is very significant in this connection. So someone either goes to the ocean to really try to tap into your energy. They feel they feel closer to you at the ocean. And maybe even when uh, the moon's big or in the moonlight. There's a very special feeling about this being at the ocean. And they just sit there with, in the car at the beach. This is important. Okay, what about the Wheel of Fortune? But it looks like good things are coming towards you with the big dreams here. That's like the Ten of Cups coming in. Okay, whoa. Oh, look at this. We have unawakened, and now this is the shift. This is the destined opportunity. This person is now awakening because they're... I think, oh my God, I'm getting such chills. I think it's because they're focusing on your energy, and they're trying to tap into it, and they might be starting to do meditation or starting... But they are awakening. They're awakened to this connection, and this is divine timing, destiny, because they were stuck before. They were, um, I think, were too materialistic. They weren't so spiritual. They're changing. What about this high priestess? Balancing the scales, Libra energy. Yeah, things are going to work out here. It seems like things are going to balance. Okay, and this Nine of Cups. Why do we have the Nine of Cups here? New direction. Look at that. So a new direction bringing you the Nine of Cups. So this is you going in a new direction or this is per this person coming towards you. Understanding where which way they have to go. This would be like the Eight of Cups. Leaving something that does not serve you to something much better. And it's bringing in the Nine of Cups. What a beautiful reading. And then we have here Nostalgia. Yeah, this person thinks about you. I would say this is also like the Six of Cups. Lots of memories. Maybe a past life connection. A lot of love here. A lot of this person's heavy, heavy thinking about you. And you are, whether you know it or not, the thoughts of you are helping this person to awaken. And it's like they're tapping into how they feel your energy. I think on a subconscious level, or I think also being with this um, high priestess here, I think you guys are meeting in the fifth dimension and you're helping their soul to evolve, to go, to get stronger, to um, be able to balance out their life, to um, to be, because you got the, the balancing the scales there. They want to make balance with you. Here we have collaboration here, three of pentacles, and we have the labor energy with balancing the scales. They want to be in balance. They want to come to you balanced, a balanced person and be able to give you what you give to them which is amazing okay let's get the what's the word now Oop. the first one we have is okay right here 
we have to go with the Queen of Wands. Let me just leave it like that. I know Queen of Wands, Page of Cups. The Queen of Wands. What's the scoop on this Queen of Wands? Ooh, a shocking revelation, I think. This person, all of a sudden, they, it's hit them. Um, that they admire you, they're very attracted to you. I'm almost feeling like the, you know, the Queen of Wands could go for either one of you, but I think you're both very attractive and you're both attracted to each other. This is um, Aries Scorpio energy with the tower. All of a sudden, this hit them. Something surprised them. Something shocked them. And it came out of nowhere. And um, that you are their soulmate. And they want to be married to you after, well, after being jealous. Okay, they were very jealous of you of what you were able to do. I, they could have been jealous of people being attracted to you too, but I also think they were very jealous of how you had it all together, how you were able to, you know, just click. Everything clicks for you, it seems like, you know, and they, they don't, they're not, they don't understand it, but they're starting now because they let go. They let go and they let God, you know, they, that's the whole secret here. They had to come to a tower. It had to fall apart for all, for them to understand because you couldn't they couldn't ride on your coattails they had to be their own person so like especially if this is a twin flame a lot of times you have to separate to come back together and that's what this person's realizing so they were unawakened which is, this is really an amazing reading we started off with the unawakening and real this realization they had a mighty and took off this unawakened almost reminds me too of um a virgo like uh, energy of the hermit I'm not so much a Virgo, uh, but the energy of the hermit going off on their own, trying to seek what knowledge they needed to become who they are becoming. And now we have this message of love with this page of cups. Let's see. What's going on with this? We have here fast. Past life. See, I know it. Drama. Okay. So something happened. There's this drama that this thing right here whatever happened here that caused this drama to break you guys up it threw them fast into the realization that you guys had a past life together if not one many you know it's like okay let's see what about this um because they are coming towards you we have this page of wands they're coming towards you with communication so expect communication this person has awakened to this connection okay so we have Message, see, message, pleasure, present, player. Okay. Ooh, why do we have player? I don't understand that, but I mean, we do have the page of wands. The knight wands is really the player, but here's a message of pleasure. Hmm. Okay, you know, it might come, you might consider this person a player, but they're going to send you a message. And they also might bring you a present or present you with something here. Um, I don't know. But at this, you're going to be very pleased. You got pleasure, message. I think you're very going to be very pleased with the message. Okay, let's say from the player. <laughs> that might also bring you a present. Okay, let's see how that goes. Alrighty, now let's see what signs we have for you, Gemini. What are the signs? Just trying to, <laughs> this being crooked. <laughs> it's like, where am I crooked here? Okay. Let's see what signs we have for Gemini. What are the signs, please? What are the signs? We have Sagittarius. Aries, Capricorn, Aries, <laughs> very strong Aries, Sagittarius, wow, well there's a lot of fire, this person feels very fiery, they feel like a lot of passion and desire for you, and Taurus, so it's like passion, fire, and grounding, so they might be very practical, um, a very grounded person, but this could be placements in your chart, placement in other people's charts, past, present, and future. But um, I don't know why I feel like a lot of this energy is, they feel like they, you know, like took over this reading, like they want you so bad, they think about you all the time, that they sort of like, this was them just taking, coming in here to try to get communication. Um, 
getting the message to you. Okay, so we have um, Sagittarius, Aries, Capricorn, Aries, Sagittarius, and Taurus. Okay, now let's do 11 letters to see the initials, first name, last name, and then if you also get the first and last, you know someone's middle name, you get that initial, all the better, past, present, future, and also your own initials. We have P, S, D, T, N, W, V, this is M, right? Yeah. M, B, Q, E. Okay, letters we have for you today are P, S, D, T, N, W, V, M, B, Q, E. Okay, and now my guys just came through. Also, someone here um, is working on their inner child to heal something in order to come towards you, too. That was a process they had to go through. Okay. Let's see what names we have here. What are the names? We have Kari, K-A-R-I-E. We have Alice, A-L-I-S. We have Philip. We have Brenda. We have Andrea, A-N-D-R-E-A. -E we have Charles. We have Sharon. Edwin. Claire. Sharish, S-U-R-I-S-H, I'm sorry if I didn't pronounce that right, and Chanel, C-H-E-N-N-E-L-L. -L. Okay, 11, perfect. Okay, guys, so those are the names. Now, remember, these are general readings. They're not personal readings. Please take what resonates, leave what doesn't. Please let me know if anything resonates. Please leave comments. I'd love to read your comments. I love you guys so much. I appreciate all your likes, shares, subscribes, and comments, and I hope to see you again real soon. Thank you so much.